<laughs> What's up everybody? It's Chris coming to you with another one of my crazy crossroads. Big Joey C! The man, the myth, the legend, urban ghost, urban explorations. We're out. We're out. We, uh, we decided to come to a cemetery um, that's near and dear to my heart because I have family here. You guys have seen a, uh, a video in the past when I was here trying to get some answers on some things. So uh, we're just looking for places that we can go right now. Um, this is going to be kind of uh, a little sentimental to me. Every time I come here, it's uh, it's touching. So um, I asked Joe if he wanted to just come on out here, and I don't know. We're just kind of looking for some kind of feel-good moment. So it's really sad out there, guys. And um, the saddest part is this time of year, I'm so excited because it's opening day tomorrow for the Mets, and it's not happening. So. Anyway, we will see you guys on the inside. I hope you're staying safe, healthy, and happy. Deuce it is. that again guys there's a helicopter that keeps coming overhead so I'm just gonna start over but um, I was saying um, that it's a it's a it's actually really easy for us to film a ghost town because if you just step outside your doors the whole world is sort of a ghost town right now so it's really sad troubling times it's just uh you got to stay positive and the thing is is you know even the people that would joke about the virus and what's going on in the world a week ago there everybody's on edge whether they say it or not it's just uh, really really sad and scary but I hope you guys are all well hope your family's well um, I know it's really affecting the elderly quite a bit so I'm going to go over and say hi to my grandparents, my uncle. I have several, several friends, I'm sorry, that are in this cemetery also, but it's just a sentimental place, sentimental place for me. But let's chiggity check it before we wreck it. And again, like I always say, if, uh, if I capture anybody's name, on film, I mean no disrespect to the families or the deceased. And here's my family right over here. My grandma and grandpa. Hey guys. I love you. Grandma Grace. Amelia carries her name. Amelia Grace. And Big Jake. Grandpa Jack. The uh, craziest and funniest <laughs> grandparents anybody can ask for. Great memories, great meals. <laughs> my grandmother, oh my goodness. She used to uh, 
you couldn't walk into her house without getting a meal. And then uh, my grandfather, you couldn't leave without getting a $20 handshake. So maybe he was bribing us to come over more often, but I love you guys. And then up top here is my man, Uncle John. And next to him is my Aunt Joy. That's where she's going to rest. Hopefully not for a long time, but love you, Uncle John. I miss you guys. I'm glad you guys aren't here to witness this. I hope you're at peace. Wonderful, wonderful memories. And that man right there, boy, he'd give you the shirt off his back. Uncle John. Taking care of daddy for you. He's in good hands. Thank you guys for letting me just have a moment there. I appreciate it. Um, we're all good. I want to say hi to Uncle John. Oh man, is that Uncle John's grave right there? It's like, this is Uncle John. I'll share a little story with you about him. He was, first of all, one of the nicest men I ever met in my life. There's Grandma, Grandpa. You probably remember oh, Grandpa. I do remember you, Grandpa. Because Grandma died in 96, but Joe, Joe met my Grandpa. Yeah. And Uncle John's up there. That's where Aunt Joy oh. is going to rest, too. Wow. <clears throat> it's a little story I'll share with you about Chris's Uncle John, so, um, hey, <laughs> share it on both cameras. So, Chris's Uncle John, I used to rent a house from Chris's dad, and Chris's Uncle John used to come over on Sunday mornings with, like, bagels for us, just, yep. just, just, just a nice soul, a genuine nice soul. Yeah. And, um, he got <clears throat> sick pretty quick. Matter of fact, I saw him a couple weeks before he passed, and he actually seemed healthy at that time. He yeah. went downhill quick, right? He did. He did. Yeah, he had um, he had uh, leukemia, and he he battled with it for a while. He was sort of like in a remission state for a couple of years, and then when it when it hit him, it hit him. So. And it hit him hard. We're shutting the, lights shutting the light off real fast so helicopter. we don't interfere with the... I think that's the <laughs> sheriff's office helicopter looking for somebody, so... Yeah, guys, so I'm going to try to zoom in, but there's a helicopter, see, right up there. I don't know if you can even see it. It's so dark. Yeah. But we have to keep our lights off. We're having, like, like this, like, lights out challenge for, like, no reason. <laughs> yeah, well, so... The sheriff's office helicopter's been circling and they are possibly looking for somebody. And if our lights are on, we don't want to distract them from what they're trying to do and we don't want to throw them off of their trail. Why a criminal would put lights on is beyond me, but nonetheless, like I said, we want to.
there's a lot of ambient noise out. You all right? Oh yeah, I'm fine. There we go. This place is... I know that family too. So, a lot of these names, <clears throat> I know a lot of uh, people that are resting in here. There's a young boy who was like a family, lifelong friend who's right around the corner here and I can't even, I can't even, um, bring myself to go near his resting area. I'm sorry, Joe? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah, sure. We're going to, uh, Joe's going to do the Necrophonic app. So, <clears throat> it, it really does. And I was saying the only kind of melancholy we both feel really at this time. Yeah, it's it's not a good feeling. It's today's been I think it's just it's only so much you can take, you know? Yeah. And I'm sure everybody has the same emotion, but right. uh, I hope this video doesn't come across as a very somber video, <laughs> which I'm sure it's you going to, but Yeah, one thing about our videos we always try to be transparent and uh, Stupid uh, uh, you know we would be, you know, lying if we told you we weren't sad. If, you know. um, well, I will tell you a quick story. I haven't even, I haven't told you yet, Joe. But what's that? My, um, oh my goodness! If I can get this my stupid goodness. thing. Sorry, guys. I'll tell you once I get this settled. This is just frustrating. Hi, how are you? <laughs> what an ugly look that is. I might cut that out, guys, because that was a. All right, so we're gonna. I guess we're gonna get try to get both so, videos. Let me yeah, move this over yeah. here. So, so. Of course, now my stand is all cracked up. Boy, that's funny. On. Let's see if we can get this to uh, actually. Oh, look at that! I may have. Awesome. I may have oh, spoke too soon. All right, here we go. Right. We're done. See you guys next time. <laughs> so, my brother's mother-in-law mm -hmm. had a stroke today. So, oh, um, man. yeah, um, she seems to, she seems to be doing okay. They didn't find any brain issues or anything, but she had like a clogged vein thing mm -hmm. years ago. So, they're thinking it might be that again. Um, so, uh, prayers go out to Mary. Um, and also her husband, Dave, <clears throat> he was in Ohio when this happened due to the fact his brother uh, passed. I believe oh, it was wow. like two weeks ago or a week and a half ago and come to find out he passed from the virus. Oh, so, man. you know, uh, we were hit with that today. So it brings it a little closer to home. He was older, he was 80. So, you know, they say, the, you know, the elderly, I mean, they can't handle this virus right now. So. Please, please, please take care of the elderly. Take care of your parents, your grandparents, whatever it may be. A stranger, if you can help out in any way, please do so. You know, it's just uh, anyway. All right, guys. Onward well, and forward. On forward that note, what is it? definitely uh, 
I don't know. I don't even know. Onward. 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 That's all we're saying. But, uh, you know, guys, much love to everybody out there. I know we said this in the intro, and uh, <clears throat> it's kind of weird, like, how being here tonight is so peaceful. Like, it's just a weird, easy, peaceful feeling. So, anyway, we're going to try the Necrophonic app, see what we get. It's inviting, actually. Yeah, it really is. All right, if there's any spirits that want to talk to us, uh, please do so. Is there anything you'd like to share with us? What? What? <laughs> That's my grandmother. <laughs> what? <laughs> Saying Tom, right? So I'm not really sure what this is what we're picking up, but <clears throat> is there anything you'd like to share with us? Sounded like somebody said something behind us. Let me go check this. Hold on. Yeah. Like even when I walked around, I heard whispers. I didn't hear them until just now. Right. Until after that. Whatever that. I don't know. Is that a voice that we heard? It sounded like it sounded like something went hey, like a husky voice. Huh. I mean, I suppose it could have been the necrophonic app, but it sounded like it was going. No, I don't think that was the app.
hear anything? No. It's weird. So it was right here. Maybe it was the after. Maybe it did, but it sounded like it was behind us. It clearly sounded like it was behind us. Look at how those... Oh, the, look at that. Just all of a sudden. What was that? Several sounds. So, I think, uh, I think I'm hearing stuff, hard to say, but, uh, oh my goodness. I'm going to take this time while I'm doing this to tell you guys that. Someone that watches the videos, he has a, um, oh, I can't, I can't with this. He has a, uh, she can't even see. <clears throat> he reached out to me and uh, said he's going to send, he's got a company, he's going to send like a stand, stabilizer, rig. And uh, when he does, I'm going to give it a shot, and then I'll let you guys know um, if it works out. And I will give you all his information once it comes in. Also, um, I don't remember your first name. I'm sorry. I, I actually took a picture. I meant to set, uh, send it up. But I know your last name is Blevins, so the Blevins family. Thank you so much for the beautiful card. Um, it was very, very sweet, very touching, and um, <clears throat> and thank you for the little bit of gas money. And uh, I actually went right to the gas station with that. So I love you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You guys are so, so awesome to me and my family. And I'll forever be grateful.
Sorry, guys. <laughs> you need to go back in there. Just gonna go catch up with Joe. All right, you may see like a little uh, cut right there, just so I don't get Joe's car and uh, his license plate in the picture. Um, check out our Look at these beautiful trees, though. <laughs> That's. Florida has some nice looking trees. Yeah, I think we're going to take off, guys. Joe's signing out, so. You signed off, buddy. I'm going to sign out, too. Yeah. You know, it's, I thought this was an abandoned property, but it's just like a... Uh, no, this is their uh, work shed, right? Yeah. 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 Sure is. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good, too, buddy. Yeah. Sort of, uh... Yeah, it's kind of been a one of those nights, you know. The funk... I can't believe that the voice you heard, so that was Yeah, and I think I picked up a couple more, too. But I'm not sure. I'm playback if you'll be able to hear it, if anything. But, hey, guys, thank you for taking the time to watch our videos. Um, as always, we appreciate it so much. Um, but I hope everybody, again, stays safe, stay home, stay healthy and happy. Remember, we love you, and we'll see you next time. Deuces. Hopefully we see you real soon.